the same place on the track that I go off quite regularly in practice. I'm going to try and avoid that if I can. Shit! 2.9 seconds. I knew it. Oh my god. Hello and welcome to my iRacing channel and a brand new track week for VRS, this time out at Suzuka. So I've put a bit of time into practice this week with the Audi R8 LMS on this track and it's not gone that well. I'll be honest, I'm struggling to keep the car on track. It feels like it just wants to oversteer, kick off track and kill me on a regular basis. So this race I'm expecting to be an absolute monster. But uh, we'll try and tame it. We'll do the best we can. I'm just going to try uh, try and have a low incident finish, if that is at all possible. So like I say, this, this track has been an absolute beast. So I didn't want to back out either and just drop back to my old ways and pick the Ferrari 488 because I'm familiar with that car and it feels safe. That's my comfort zone. So I'm going to try and come out with that at least a little bit because the Audi is the car that I want to drive for the entire next season. So I'm going to stick at it. We'll just see what happens on this racing. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in. Come on. So we've qualified for this race in P13, with a 2.00.8, which I thought was a decent lap. Clearly these guys have got different ideas about that. We're just gonna try and do the best we can with this car. I've been struggling in practice with the Audi, but I've committed okay, Rob, to it. Stay calm, focus. So I just wanted to stick with it, not back out and start using the Ferrari like I normally do. Go, go, go! Oh, they're all at it. Get this silly lunatic down right on the side straight away. Too many cars wide is it for my liking. Whoa! Clear right. Incident, incident. All right. What are they doing? Wow! Hold what? your line. Hold your line. I think. Clear just right. get around a few corners first, lads. Right, we just dropped a lot of places, but I'm sure we're going to get some back. We can just keep Clear it left. on track. Start, mate, but the race isn't over yet. Because this is horrendous. Start to a race. Very congested track. On your left. Oh, I'll be honest. I have no confidence with this car and this track. I've entered it and I'm starting to think it was a bad idea. Doesn't help I'm racing with a bunch of lunatics as well. Car off behind somewhere. Right, let's get a couple of laps under our belt, at least. Come on. The same place on the track that I go off quite regularly in practice. I'm going to try and avoid that if I can. It's been causing me some serious issues. Oh, come on, turn in. Right, slow carry on the left hand side may just get past him. No, he's going to beat us down the straight. Could compromise our straight line speed. This is my evil corner. Really eased off there. VRS says take it in sixth. I cannot get around that corner in sixth gear for my life. Well, I'm surprised that many cars have made it round clean at the start of the race, so we dropped P20. seven places already. But there were a lot of risk takers at first lap as well, especially the first couple of corners. We know what you can't win on the first couple of corners.
really just want to get settled in. I think consistency is going to be key for me on this track. Definitely going to be pace anyway. Tell the guy behind is one of these that's going to try and sling it in. On your right, right side's clear. That's a car back, a couple of cars back. A lot of big risk takers early on on this. So I've got the live race labs position on as well. So you can see that when I actually change positions, it updates live, as opposed to when I cross the start finish line. That's a back corner talking. So, live position, P16, still down three. Don't want this guy to try and sling me here because... Car left. Look. Clear left. Ah, uh, all my straight line speed. Compromise my line completely. Let him get away. The leader has just done a two minutes. But I, uh, I balled it up myself coming into that corner anyway. And we've had an off track, come on. Flag. It's a dangerous city. On your right. Hold your line. Still there. He's still there. Clear right. P16. He had, he had to allow me at least some track to, to use. That were ridiculous. How the hell am I meant to turn in? All right. Right side's clear. Right side. Clear right. Oh. Bad times. Feeling quite stressed out on this track, Suzuka. I'll have to review that incident after the race. But I get the feeling that I have to turn in. Wow. All right, Rob. We've just cut the track. Yeah, just, just just a lot, but there's cars in bits all over the place. So let's just slow it down, gain some composure. It's like Murder Valley. This is not very enjoyable, I'll be honest. I feel like... Maybe got the pace to keep up these guys, but Car right. Clear they just right. want to try and murder you every other corner, which is not a good feeling. Watch this guy's going to sling it down the left hand side. I may let him if he gets there. And he's backed off. P18. Don't be distracted. Defend your position. I'm not distracted. That's just finishing the race at the moment. I think will be a win. The gap behind is now 1.0. 18th. Come on, get your head back into it. 18, Keep down five. Focus on these lines. Don't remember being in a race for a long while where it started off as, as violent as that, really. On turn. What we're not sure about is if any of the knocks that we have received so far have caused any problems. Either way, we're not stopping. So we have to look out of track. Don't just rejoin. Oh my god, that was close. See him driving straight back on track. Right, 
Right, let's get some relatives on, or Delta even. It's against our session best. I haven't really put in a proper lap yet, so just keep an eye on it. Right, this needs to be better than last time. Why is it not turning the way I'm expecting to? Oh, I lost so much speed coming out of there. This is my horror nightmare. Wasn't sure which way he was going to spin. Another off track. Seven. We're only eight minutes in. Bad times. V16. That's the fastest lap of the race. I'm sure I've got good memories of Suzuka somewhere. Probably in the Ferrari. This thing is hard, hard to handle. Bit of a beast is the Audi. I did say it's one of the more difficult cars to tame, but if you do get it right, it's quick. The reason I'm driving it really is because I'm going to dedicate myself to this car for the next VRS season. Okay, Rob. Our fuel window will open after 19 minutes. It closes after 30 minutes. So why not run the last race of the season with it? We did okay at Sebring. Couple of weeks back. This is its second outing. We're gaining on this car. The gap is 1.0 seconds. Audi's definitely quick. Just needs the uh, the pilot that can handle it. Slightly better corner. Still know there's massive room for improvement here. At least we're getting round. So many incidents early on doesn't help us. Ah, getting a bit wide there, lost quite a chunk of time. So we're right all over team all in. KBN looks keen for a bit though. The gap behind is now 1.0. Oh. More death there. Take it. I've had no off track there. Eight. P14. Shire 15 minutes into the race as well. your fuel. <laughs> the 
This guy is actually slowing me down now. Car right. Bad place. Still there. It's hard enough Still corner there. as it is. Right side's clear. Oh, we've got round. Right, he's backed off. Thanks. Thanks for that. Nice one, Rob. Good pass. Nice front. Team have just dropped into the pits there. Thirteenth place. We're going to keep going, I think, as long as possible with the fuel. Whilst we've got a bit of clean air in front of us, at least. If this guy behind starts causing us a bit of bother, then we might rethink that strategy. But at the moment, let's just run it best we can. Let's not forget, we're still getting used to this car. Even though I have spent about three hours practicing with it. Feels like it wants to kill me. A lot. It definitely doesn't like being driven slowly. Otherwise it loses traction, kicks off. Really wants booting all the way around. Wants screwing the knackers off it. Shit! 2.9 seconds. Fucking knew it. Oh my god. Oh my word. What a rush. I think I need to come into pits. That wasn't good. All right, Rob. We'll fill you to the end of the race. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. There's a car approaching. Stay behind the white line. So I think we lost <laughs> two positions because of the uh, old stunt freestyling. That's going to look good on a replay. I'm absolutely positive. New intro vid. Hey Rob, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Keep digging. No, oh, give me a bigger shovel. I just touched the slippy stuff on the right hand side there and. Pew! Absolutely. Full 360. Amazing. I was bracing myself for a bit of impact on the wheel. The gap behind has increased to 8.7 seconds. P18. Surely everybody's pit now. Would have thought so. 35 minutes into the race, no, 33 minutes. We actually carried decent pace around that corner. We have to just ease off. Oh well. Left. Oof. Okay. 
Well done, mate. That was great. Certainly fell out. Down one from our starting position. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Couple of laps left in this race. Don't do it because I'm turning in the mid. Car right. Yeah. Clear right. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Car left. Still there. Clear left. Oh, really didn't want to lose that position. But hard enough to come by these as it is rather than giving them away. Absolutely going for it. On your right. Uh, Clear right. We've got him. <laughs> Come on, that's the stuff. Keep your wits about you, mate. Uh-oh. That guy. Place back. P13. We're running on fumes, mate. P13. Last lap, come, come on. Go. More place would be nice. Down the straight, quite possibly. Sold it one more time. Force him to find the gap. It's like we've come alive at the back end of the race. Last couple of laps. Just two minutes. 
miles left, two minutes to go. Wowza. I think we're done. V12. That's the end of the race. Never mind. Well, that was an exhausting race. I think I'll take a P12. Couple of hard fought places there, definitely. So let's take a look at the incidents and the chaotic start to this race, in which we lost quite a number of places, but cars were pushing extremely hard there. Some really, really risky manoeuvres. Not sure why they were happening so early on. But anyway, we lost a bunch of places. So this is the incident on lap three. Oh, actually, it was that bit of net code because we seem to have the advantage there. Let's just take a look at that again. Maybe just from Far Chase. So it didn't actually hit me. I mean, it looks like it would have done. Let's see if I can play that again in slow motion. So we're coming around the corner, we're aiming for the apex, we're in front. I expected that he should have maybe put his brakes on a little bit, but uh, anyway. Looks like a bit of net code, but either way, we've had an off track. And just after our lap three incident, we'll come across this. Quite a lot of cars piled up. We managed to make our way through by taking an off track. Just take a look at that from a slightly different angle. As you can see, cars all over the place. And this is one where I had to come into the pit straight afterwards. Feeling like I needed some kind of medical attention. How did we survive that? Let's check that from a couple of different angles. Here it is from the chopper cam. Just came round, clipped a little bit of this slippy stuff on the right hand side. Full on 360. Wow, incredible we didn't die there. And again from the blimp cam. So why not? We don't have these spectacular moves. Happen every single day. Get out, some kind of stunt driver. So there we go for the incidents. Let's get across and take a look at the results. See where we ended up. Well, I'm chuffed to bits that we didn't die there and explode into a bazillion pieces. So, <laughs> we started in split number six of 11. So, Sort of mid skill level. Strength of field, 1725. An incredible positive IR finish, which I wasn't expecting at all. So, um, yeah, hats off there. I'm really pleased with that. Lost a chunk of safety rating, but not too concerned with it. I knew that car was going to be a trouble around that track. And like I said at the start, we just want to try and tame it because it is a car that I want to use more in the future. And then, where are we? All the way down here. So, we started the race in P13, we finished in P12, and I'll take that as well, because these other cars, they were quicker, we were struggling a little bit, our fastest lap was a 201.577, we know we can run quicker, but we have to really push the car to a point where I just don't feel comfortable getting around the corners safely anyway. Nevertheless, we had 10 incidents. That could have been a lot worse. A couple of those incidents lost us quite a few places as well, including our spectacular 360 degree spin. So uh, sign me up for a circus. But uh, that race, I think, went pretty well. So unexpected positive IR finish there. Really surprised. I thought at one point with the amount of death that we're managing to catch on that race, first couple of laps were extremely scary was positive early on we weren't gonna get a positive ir finish so hats off there happy with that and um brilliant on to the next one i think we learned a lot from that track a lot where the limits of the car are where i can push it we can definitely run faster than a 201.5 that wasn't quick at all so let's stick at it let's give it another go in fact another couple of goes i reckon this week on suzuka we're not going to race any other track it's week 12, it's the final week of the season, so let's just get stuck in. If we lose a chunk of I rating, so be it. We want to learn this car. We really want to get this car working for next season. I think it's going to be a really fast car in the field. Uh, a lot of the top drivers seem to use it. I think I mentioned in previous videos, obviously I'm not at their skill rating, but the car that they're choosing is the Audi, and there must be a reason for that. So 
even if it's tough to tame, let's stick with it. We'll get there and hopefully we'll benefit on the other side. So thanks very much for watching. If you didn't indeed make it to the end of that video, hope you enjoyed the acrobatic skills on display there. I'll try to do them every single race. Can't promise. Certainly try. And that's it. On to the next one. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye-bye.